Okay, the top section of this is just multiplying a monomial times a binomial. And then there's some here where you're doing the same thing and then combining like terms. But then on the bottom section, it's going to be the new stuff. This is where we're multiplying the two binomials you're going to choose if you want to do the FOIL method or if you want to do the box method. We'll get there in just a second. So let's go do these simpler ones first, see how you do. So x times 3x. See how I got the 3x squared? And then x times negative 4. That's it. They're just asking us to simplify, so we're done. 2a times 3a. This time we're going to multiply the numbers to get 6. And then a times a is a squared. You okay with that? And then 2a times negative 7. There's my negative 14a. We're done. 4g times g. 4 times negative 8. How'd you do on that one? So pause the video at any time and go practice some on your own and then see how you do. All right, let's see how you did. Negative 21x. Careful on the signs on this one. What's a negative times a negative going to give me? You got it. Plus 28. 8 times 3a. 8 times negative 7. Remember, don't be afraid to grab a calculator if the bigger numbers get you. Negative 9 times g. Negative times negative is positive. How'd you do? All right, now they're not only asking us to do that, but then we have to do a little bit of com combining terms. So we get 3x squared minus 4x. That's just the front part. Then negative 21x and positive 28. And now notice, I've got some x squareds here. There's nothing for me to combine with that, so it's just 3x squared. But then I've got negative 4x's and negative 21x's. So how many total x's? Do you see how I got the negative 25? Okay, so that those two green terms, those combined to give me this negative 25 right there in the middle. And then finally at the end, do you see that we just have a 28, one constant? And so that's just plus 28. There's nothing to combine there. So how would you do with that one? Did you remember which terms we should combine? Pause the video, try the next one, see what happens. All right, let's see how you do. So this one's 6a squared minus 14a plus 24a minus 56. Again, remember to combine those two middle terms, if they can, we get we get 6a squared plus 6a squared plus 10a minus 56. How did I get the 10 on that one? Do you see how it's a 24 minus 14? It's like 24 minus 14 is 10. That's how we got a 10a on that one. All right, let's try this last one. Remember to pause, try it yourself. Let's see how you did. Did you get 4g squared minus 32g minus 9g plus 72? And then look for any terms in the middle that you can combine. And we end up with 4g squared minus, okay, take a minute, 9 plus 2, that's 11 plus that 30. It's minus 41 g's plus 72. So these ones were kind of like warm up for getting you ready for the multiplying binomials. These are not on the quiz tomorrow, but we do need these skills to get ready. Now let's go look at the new stuff we practiced today and see how you're doing. Okay, let's go. FOIL method first. x times x is x squared x times 5, x times 9, 9 times 5. Then we combine those middle terms for a final trinomial answer of 14x plus 45. How'd you do? Pause the video, try a couple, see how you do. a times 3a, 7 times a, negative 15a minus 35. Combine those middle terms 
we get negative 8 a's. Why is it negative 8? Negative 15 plus 7, we're subtracting and keeping the sign of the larger. Pause the video, try the next one. Let's see how you did. Did you get 4d squared minus 40d minus 1d plus 10? Negative times negative is positive, 10 times 1. Combine those middle terms. Are you getting better at these? How are you doing? 5 times 4, 5 times negative 6, that h, 2 times 4, h, and 2 times negative 6. Combine that middle term. Okay, negative 30 plus 8. Do that on a calculator if you need to. Did you get the negative 22? 2 times 3, negative 16w, minus 21w, plus 56. Combine that middle term. That's negative 37w, plus 56. How'd you do? Last but not least, let's stretch this out to 3x minus 5 twice. Remember when something's squared, I want you to expand it out twice. 3x times 3x, 3x times negative 5, negative 5 times 3x, and then negative 5 times negative 5 there at the end. So 9x squared minus 30x plus 25, final answer, how'd you do?